Hey guys, this is Tareth from 2 Plus 2, and I'm making a demo video for the Table Ninja Sit and Go Opener. I'm hoping that this video will help all our new users get everything set up and working quickly, and I'm also going to highlight some of the changes we've made in recent versions for our existing users. So without further ado, I'll get into it. The basic idea behind the Table Ninja Sit and Go Opener is very simple. We let you create filters in PokerStars using the built-in PokerStars Sit and Go filter, and then you can save those filters in Table Ninja. And once you've done that, Table Ninja can apply those filters to re register you for the type of tournaments you want to play. So for the sake of this video, I'm going to be playing some micro-stakes double or nothing tournaments. And the first step is I need to set up a search in PokerStars that will filter for those type of tournaments. So the easiest way to search for most tournaments is just to type in their name. I want to play some double or nothing. And I'll start with the uh, turbos, and the micro-stakes have a $1.10 buy-in. And as you can see, as soon as I've done that, PokerStars Lobby is now showing exactly the type of tournaments I want to play, these $1.10 double or nothing turbos. So now that I have my search set up correctly, I need to uh, give it a name in Table Ninja. I'll call it uh, Double or Nothing Turbo 110. And then I can save this search in Table Ninja. And now at any time I can test to see that the search was saved by clicking this test button. So I'll go ahead and you know mess up my search, change around the checkboxes, and as soon as I hit test, Table Ninja will load the search I saved, automatically fill in all the checkboxes and everything, and as you can see, the lobby is now just showing these $1.10 double or nothing tournaments that I want to play. Table Ninja also has the ability to let you register for tournaments of all different types. You can save up to four different searches and register for those tournaments simultaneously. So to demonstrate that functionality, I'm going to make a second type of search for the uh, non-turbo microsticks double or nothing. Those have a dollar fifteen buy-in. And again, I'll name this in Table Ninja. And save it. And test it. And now I can click these test buttons and kind of jump back and forth from the turbos to the non-turbos. So at this point, we're actually almost done setting up the sit and go opener. There's just a few more things we need to specify. The first is we need to tell Table Ninja how many tournaments we want it to register us for. And we can do that by starting with these target numbers. Table Ninja will try to register you for the target number of each tournament type. So for the sake of this video, I'm in a three table tile. And I'll have it register me for two of the double or nothing turbos and one of the double or nothing non turbos. I also can set this max per cycle setting. This will tell Table Ninja do not try and register for more tournaments than the max per cycle in any given attempt. So for example, if you're playing tournaments with just one of that tournament type registering at a given time, which is the case for a lot of the heads up tournaments and a lot of the multi-table tournaments, you can set this to one so that Table Ninja knows to only try and register for one tournament at a time. The next setting I need to specify is the seconds between cycles. This is how often Table Ninja should try to register me for new tournaments. And you want to set this number to be about how long it takes the tournaments of the type you play to fill up. These micro stakes double or nothings register pretty quickly, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, leave this at 60 seconds, because that's about how long I think it takes for them to fill up. Next I'm going to tell Table Ninja to keep three tournaments, because that's how many I want to play total, open until I've played a total of five tournaments. What this means is initially Table Ninja will register me for three tournaments, then it'll just wait, and as soon as I lose one of my initial three tournaments, it'll register me for an additional one until I've played a total of five tournaments, and then the sit and go will stop running and I'll be ready to be done with my session. So at this point we're all set up and we're ready to go, so I'm just going to hit the start button and you can see this in action. Table Ninja will start by registering me for two double or nothing turbos, and then it will continue by registering me for one double or nothing non-turbo, which it's doing right now. And as soon as these tournaments fill up, it should pop up, these tournaments will pop up any second and I'll be able to start playing. And then once I lose one of these tournaments, Table Ninja will recognize that and register me for an additional one. Now you can see that as Table Ninja registered me, my current number for the double or nothing turbos went up to two, that's because it registered me for two of those tournaments. My current number for the non-turbos went up to 1, because it registered me for one of those. And my currently registered is at 3, and my total registered is at 3. So we can kind of keep an eye on these numbers to see what Table Ninja is doing. 
Another thing I should mention as we wait for these tournaments to fill up is uh, some new features we added in Table Ninja recently is a idle timer. I can check this checkbox and Table Ninja will automatically turn off the sit and go opener if uh, I am idle for one minute. So that means if I do not use a hotkey or depending on your settings move your mouse for a minute, the sit and go opener will stop running. And this is just a nice little fail safe so that you don't have to worry about, you know, walking away from your computer and accidentally leaving the sit and go opener running. As far as I know that hasn't actually happened to anyone, but just in case we put that in to be safe. We still strongly encourage that everyone uses either a maximum total number of tournaments or a maximum number of minutes. You can also tell Table Ninja to register you for tournaments continuously for a specified number of time. So as we can see, my first tournament's up here. To demonstrate what happens when you lose a tournament in Table Ninja has to register you for a new set of tournaments, I'm going to go ahead and try and lose this as quickly as possible. One other thing I should mention is that you uh, do not have to keep the lobby visible while you're using the Table Ninja Sit and Go opener. You can drag the lobby completely off the screen and Table Ninja will keep running. You cannot minimize it, but you can drag it all the way off the screen. So, you know, that's a nice way to save some monitor space. I can just drag these completely out of the way, and Table Ninja will keep doing its thing. Hey guys, sorry about that. I paused the video because it was taking me forever to lose one of these tournaments, but hopefully with our 3-7 over here we'll lose, and you guys can see exactly what happens once we lose a tournament. I'm going to pull the lobby back over here so we can watch this in action. So I lost one of these, my uh, 115 non-turbo tournament. So as soon as that happened, as you can see, the currently the current number went down to zero because I lost. And as soon as this timer passes, I'm going to set it down to 10 seconds. So we don't have to wait. The search will start running again. And uh, it's going to register me for a new tournament of that type. So now I'm back up to currently registered one here. And now I'm at four total tournaments because it registered me for three initially and then one replacement one right now. And Table Ninja would keep working in this fashion until I'd played five total tournaments. So it registered me for one more. And then would know that I was done with my session and, you know, it would just stop. So I guess that wraps it up. I hope you guys appreciate this video. If you, any, if you have any feedback on it, I'd love to hear it. And let me know what you think. Thanks.